Pandora, the world of Avatar is a themed area inspired by James Cameron's Avatar, located within Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park at the Walt Disney World Resort in Bay Lake, Florida, near Orlando. Set a generation after the events of the Avatar films, the area is based upon the fictional exoplanetary moon, Pandora, and features Pandora's floating mountains, alien wildlife, and bioluminescent plants. Spanning 12 acres 4 .9 hectares, Pandora, the world of Avatar includes two major attractions, Avatar Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey, as well as retail and dining outlets. Disney began development on Pandora, the world of Avatar in 2011, jointly with Cameron and his production company, Lightstorm Entertainment, with the intention of transforming Animal Kingdom into a full-day operation, complete with added attraction capacity and and nighttime experiences. Construction on the area began on January 10, 2014, and the land opened to the public on May 27, 2017. Topic: History. Topic: Development. In early 2011, James Cameron was approached by Disney executives Bob Iger and Tom Staggs, CEO and then COO respectively, regarding the possibility of Avatar-themed attractions at Disney Parks properties. Originally, discussions were held about creating an Avatar-themed attraction at Disney's Hollywood Studios, perhaps at the park's then-functioning studio Backlot Tour. Staggs suggested incorporating the film into a newly designed land at Disney's Animal Kingdom to improve the park's attraction roster. Cameron was initially surprised at Disney's approach in scope, commenting that, Disney's vision when they came to me was to create a land. I thought we were going to be talking about creating an attraction. On September 17, 2011, Disney entered into an exclusive, long-term licensing agreement with Cameron's Lightstorm Entertainment and 20th Century Fox for the worldwide theme park rights to Avatar. Disney agreed to pay Cameron and Fox a licensing fee and a percentage of merchandise sales. The deal was officially announced to the public on September 20, 2011. The highlight of the announcement was that Disney's Animal Kingdom would receive a new themed area entirely devoted to Avatar. While no specifics were announced, the new area was described as being several acres in size and costing an estimated $400 million to build, a scale similar to Cars Land at Disney California Adventure in California. The area was later estimated to cost approximately $500 million. Disney showcased a first-look presentation of the land at the 2013 Japan D23 Expo. Construction began in January 2014, with an initially planned opening date in 2016. The deal could see Avatar attractions added to other Disney theme parks in the future. Disneyland Paris and Hong Kong Disneyland are also in consideration. However, there are no immediate plans to do so. The opening date was later revised to summer 2017. In February 2017, the official opening day was confirmed to be May 27, 2017. The land received a dedication ceremony on May 24, 2017 with Iger, Cameron, John Landau, Fox chairman Stacey Snyder, and cast members Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, and Sigourney Weaver, attending the dedication. To promote the park's opening, ABC aired a series of special episodes of The View live from the park, including a special pre-opening preview featuring James Cameron, as well as a live episode on the park's opening day festivities, which included guests Sherry Shepard, John Stamos, Ariel Winter, Eric Stonestreet, Audra McDonald, Mandy Moore, Tom Bergeron, and chefs Masaharu Morimoto and Art Smith, with musical performances by Andy Grammer and and train. Topic: 
Design Pandora, The World of Avatar is designed by Walt Disney Imagineering and Lightstorm Entertainment with Avatar producers James Cameron and John Landau acting as creative consultants. Imagineer Joe Rode, creative executive of Disney's Animal Kingdom, served as creative director for the project. The area was constructed in the former location of Camp Mini Mickey, which was originally earmarked for the Beastly Kingdom, a never-built themed land which would have been based around mythological creatures. Instead of including characters or basing the land on existing plot lines from the films, the team emphasized issues such as conservation and environmental stewardship. Project manager Tim Warzeka described the land as a standalone experience from the films, focusing on, "...all about the people, the environment, the culture, the animals and the beauty of the world." Road cited the film's themes and environmental message as compatible to the park's established values. Road said, if you think about the intrinsic value of nature, transformation through adventure, and personal call to action—these are the values of Animal Kingdom. But if you say them again, those are the themes of the film Avatar. So Avatar and Animal Kingdom will nest into each other very, very neatly. Animal Kingdom is a place about the kind of realism that derives from those animals. We really want to live up to that state of realism to the detail, to the complete immersion which is part of the signature of that park to the sense that these are events that are really happening to you, that it is your adventure. When we translate that into the world of Avatar it presents a whole new series of technical challenges because of the very nature of that world itself. Disney and Lightstorm decided to set the land's timeline a generation after the warring conflict between the indigenous Navi and the Resources Development Administration that sought to exploit Pandora for its unobtainium in the first film. According to the backstory, the Navi and humans have achieved peace and Alpha Centauri Expeditions Ace, a fictional tourism company has partnered with the Navi to present Pandora as a new destination for ecotourism and scientific research. As a result, ACE established the Pandora Conservation Initiative to preserve and study the native Pandoran species. In September 2011, Cameron confirmed that a flying attraction featuring 3D projections and creature designs that were cut from the original film", was a concept on the drawing board for the area. Pandora, the world of Avatar includes elements from the original Avatar film as well as its four, yet-to-be-released sequels. Road initially admitted difficulty in adapting the locations depicted in Avatar to the physical realm, as Pandora is portrayed in the films solely through computer-generated imagery. Therefore, Imagineering adapted the concept art and digital designs from the films and expanded upon it, with Road explaining that, "...there was not enough detail in those images for an actual place that you're really going to build." A major visual feature of Pandora is the Valley of Moara and its floating mountain ranges. The 156-foot tall mountains employ forced perspective to appear larger than they physically are, and are held aloft by steel beams concealed with rockwork and vinery. Designers were sent to Zhangjiajia National Forest Park to study the jagged pillar peaks of the Wulingyuan region for inspiration, as well as foliage studies in Hawaii. The steel foundations for the floating mountains required a year to complete. Pandora's bioluminescent species of flora are also found throughout the area. Imagineers created 20 species of Pandoran flora exclusively for the land. The landscaping consists of real earth plant species mixed with sculpted Pandora flora, with each alien plant requiring its own concealed control box to create the necessary amount of illumination in bioluminesce during the evening hours. 
New motion sensor technology developed by Disney Research, allows the plant life to respond to tactile interaction from guests. Audio recordings of Pandoran animals create ambient noise throughout the land. Unlike other themed lands and attractions in the company's history, Disney omitted traditional theme park attributes throughout Pandora, the world of Avatar such as attraction marquees, Disney branded merchandise, and Mickey Mouse images on the MyMagic Plus scanners found in FastPass lines as a way of maintaining the natural theming of the land. The park's cast members play Ace Field experts. The area features music composed by James Horner and Simon Franklin based on the original score from Avatar, which was originally composed by Horner and arranged by Franklin. A digital soundtrack compilation album was released by Walt Disney Records on January 4, 2019, for download and streaming to Pandora, the world of Avatar, containing complete the ride through music for Avatar Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey, atmospheric area sounds for the world of Avatar and ambient music composed for the Windtrader's Shop, Pongu Pongu and Satuli Canteen. The liner notes of this release credit the Slovak National Symphony in Bratislava as the orchestra that recorded the music. Sandra Benton provided the vocals for the Shaman of Songs in Navi River Journey. Attractions Avatar Flight of Passage, a 3D flying simulator thrill attraction, where guests fly on a mountain banshee over the landscape of Pandora. Navi River Journey, a dark ride boat attraction through the Capsavin River, showcasing the native fauna and flora of Pandora, including audio animatronics and 3D holograms. Entertainment Swotu Waya Navi Drum Ceremony, a daily outdoor drum circle performance held at the Valley of Moara meant to recreate a traditional Navi drum ceremony. Pandora Utility Suit, a streetmosphere performance where a Pandoran Conservation Initiative scientist wearing an AMP mech suit interacts with guests and educates them about Pandora. Restaurants and shops The land contains two food locations and one shop Satuli Canteen, a quick service restaurant Pongu Pongu, a food and beverage stand Windtraders, the area's only gift shop See also Cars Land, a themed land at Disney California Adventure Park The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, a themed land at Universal's Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida theme park Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, a future themed land at Disneyland Park and Disney's Hollywood Studios Acquisition of 21st Century Fox by Disney, the Walt Disney Company, two years after Pandora's opening, purchased Fox's parent company, 21st Century Fox in a deal that includes the rights to Avatar. <laughs>